Team TV, Victor here with Celebrating Victory, give you guys another video. I'm trying to get an ATM machine into a bakery that I went by. I was actually bringing a dog home uh, for some training, ran into a neighborhood that I'm, I'm rarely ever in, and I noticed a bakery and I noticed a lot of cars outside. Um, and I ended up going in there. There's a long line of people waiting to get, you know, get service. Um, <clears throat> so I asked for the owner, he was there. Um, talked to him a little bit about, you know, having the ATM machine. And I'm gonna give you guys a whole conversation so you'll listen to the whole thing instead of just a brief uh, snippet. Me I was just trying to persuade him on, um, you know, putting a ATM into his location. He was against it initially. He even told me that there was people, someone that came to him before. Um, but, you know, there were some objections. Um, I talked about him, I addressed, I addressed them um, and I think he might do it okay he told me to give me give him a call later today so I'm gonna give him a call today give you guys some insight on um, in certain parts and what I'm doing what I'm thinking why I'm saying what I'm saying and hopefully this helps you hopefully it gives you the opportunity to, to talk to a business owner um, uh, in a more comfortable way and um, you know just give you some practice on on just how to talk to them and how to come up with um, things to say when they say something and how to kind of change their mind when they're just kind of totally against it um, so we'll see what happens. speak English yes sir. how you doing my yes. name is Victor um, I was just coming in today have you guys thought about putting an ATM machine in here they have but is that oh. something you think you might be interested in doing we mm. also um we do profit sharing too where you get we pay you mm -hmm. yeah some guy said came in one time said that they fill it up and then we get a cut on the on the yeah. fees yeah but i don't think so you sure yeah i think they have one right here by the the other burrito place uh, m and m's okay there's an atm you, you, there um, you take card or is it cash yeah we take we take cards so, okay yeah no that's just something i thought i might ask just because it seems like a pretty good spot a good spot it, it does get busy but uh Nah, not right now. All right, you guys. So the first part of the conversation, you could tell off the rip, he's not with it. He doesn't want an ATM. He's not a nice dude. He's trying to be polite about it, um, but he definitely doesn't want an ATM. That's, that's the first vibe that I got. So um, what I ended up doing was I ended up telling him about the profit sharing immediately uh, because I knew I was already, my back was already against the wall on getting in this location. So I already presented it. If he switched up and was like, yeah, let's do it. Then I wouldn't have even mentioned the profit sharing and then went from there. But since I needed some more ammunition to actually convince this dude, the first thing I mentioned was the profit sharing. All right. So I just want you guys to take note of that. And then we're going to continue on and listen to more of it. And if you do, um, we do a trial period too, where we can try it out for three months and then we take it out if you, if you don't, if you're not interested in it. If that's an option, I mean, I could take down your information, or if not, then I could just, you know, that's okay too. Mm. You want to call me back so I can yeah. think about it some more? Okay. Let me get my All right. So now. Um, you can tell that he's just trying to get me out now. He's like, yeah, just take down my information. I always try to take the, the, um, the business owner's information. I don't want to give him my card. I want to give, I want, I mean, I could, that way they can hit me up when they, at the convenience of them and when they want, but I always like to try to take their information simply because, um, you know, that way I'm in control. I can contact them. I can reach out to them. I can kind of put that bug in their ear. That's one thing that I wanted to mention about that part. The second thing I wanted to mention too, which is kind of a little bit off of the topic of that actual uh, snippet right there, is going to be no matter what, no matter where you're at, no matter how prepared you are, um, trying is better than not trying at all. So I say what I'm what I mean by that is I don't have any paperwork with me. I have no business cards. I have nothing. I just was simply bringing a dog from training um, back home, and you know I saw it. I, I ended up going in there versus me not going in there simply because I didn't have a business card or simply because I wasn't prepared as far as paperwork and stuff like that. Um, you know I still want you guys to practice this this stuff. I still want you guys to go in and. <clears throat> Even if it isn't the best experience, it's a practice. It's a you're getting some experience. You're getting better at what your your pitch is. You're getting better at what you're saying. So the more you're talking to people, the more you're doing this, the easier it gets. So I say all that because if you're prepared, great. But even so, like don't pass up on up don't pass up on an opportunity, you know, simply because you don't have this or you don't have that. Just asking is is enough, right? Just trying is enough, and then you need to worry about the rest at a later time. So I ended up going in there. And at this point, now what I'm telling him is about the trial period. So the profit sharing wasn't working. You know, I told him about it. He didn't really, he still was trying to just get me out of there. And then I ended up talking about the, the trial period. So what I do is I like to give a trial period and tell him that I'm gonna do a trial period of about three months. And then what, we, what, what happens at that time, I put the ATM in there. And when I put the ATM in there, um, what ends up happening once I put the ATM in there, then um, what's going to happen is if I want to move it anytime 
or if they're like, yeah, man, this ain't working or I don't like it or your, your service sucks and you don't fill it up on time, um, they, they can, I can, I can take it out and they can tell me to take it out. So that's going to be the trial period. So once I didn't get the, the profit sharing, I guess, interest that I was looking for, then I ended up going on to the trial period and talking a little about, bit about that. So let's continue listening. Yeah, and then it, sometimes it helps. Like I know a lot of people that take the car. Sometimes the car machine goes down, uh -huh. so then it's always good because, like, with the ATM machine, there's you know people still have the option just to get it. The car machine goes down, or um, some people like with tips and stuff. They they take tips for okay. with cash. So how much is your your fee for ATM? So for like that I would give you? No, like uh, what you charge? Oh, typically it's like the standard three dollars, three twenty five. Okay. Typically, just depends. Um, yeah. Okay. All right, so this is cool. Now you're starting to see some magic work. All right. Now the, the, the conversation, the dude's demeanor, everything already changed. At this point, now he's asking me questions because he now I piqued the interest. I hit him somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where I hit him, but I hit him somewhere where he had um, some interest in, in what my um, what I was talking about. And now he's starting to ask questions. So the, the question that he asked, I think, was, um, was how much the, the surcharge is actually going to be on the ATM. He asked what all is needed, you know, what responsibilities do they need to do, um, things like that. So this is this is a good turning point in the conversation that you guys can see and, and, and how I built up to it. So I went from absolutely no interest to now I, I'm getting some type of interest and I'm, I'm kind of warming him up a little bit. So let's see where it goes from Yeah, here. I mean, um, if you want, I mean... And do you guys feel it or are we feel it? No, you don't do anything. All you do is just, it's just there. It's like, it's like <laughs> yeah, how, that, that, how that shirt's there. It's, that's what it is for you guys. There's no responsibility for you as far as, um, you know, taking care of it, maintaining it, nothing. Mm -hmm. The only thing I obviously I'm going to ask you is just make sure that it's, it's like there's no, people aren't leaving cups and stuff on top of it. Yeah, I don't know. You know, stuff like that. No, nobody's sitting there like trying to open it up you know steal from it or anything like that um doesn't happen often rare but you know it's just something that that's all really everything else we do so what we if you're interested i can um it usually takes like I, I do do them brand new every time i put a new uh, an atm into a new location i do buy them brand new um just because i want it to be you know nice it has a camera on it so it can see you know when people are using it they can see what they're doing and who is who they are um and then um yeah i could order one brand new get it in and then we could just do a trial period you know for the three months and just see if that's something you're like hey victor you know i don't think it's a good idea even before the three months comes up i've never had anybody say hey i don't think it's a good idea i don't want it in here in here anymore usually they're disappointed when i have to take it out because if it underperforms or doesn't do well then we'll you know we'll obviously take it out if we're not making if i'm not profiting from it yeah all right, guys. So another thing that I'm doing right in this in this part that you just listened to is I'm now I'm talking about um you know the still on the kind of what is it the three month trial period, but I'm telling him I'm trying to get him on the fear of missing out. So what that means, FOMO, y'all probably heard of it before. I'm telling him that you know the trial period, you know if you want to move it, and I and I end up mentioning how like I never had a business owner tell me they didn't want it anymore. Um, I, I always mention, I definitely mentioned the fact that they're going to be, they're usually bummed if I'm telling them that I'm going to move it because it's not performing well and they're a little disappointed and they want to keep it there. I'm telling him all those things because I want him to understand that this is a, um, this is something that's valuable. That's going to be valuable towards him for him. Um, and that, you know, most people, they want this stuff. All right. So that's kind of what I'm doing there. Um, no, so let's see that they're a little bit bummed out from that. But yeah, I mean, we could do that if, you, if that's what you're interested. All I really need is just the um, space and outlet. Yeah, and the outlet. That's it. And run off of a, like a dial-up. Yeah, you, on the channel. wireless. I do all the wireless stuff, so I don't have to like I don't try to run it onto anybody else's because sometimes their internet could be going down. I don't want the ATM's internet going down, you know. So it's a wireless modem that I, I take care of. So really, it's just plug and play. Okay. Yeah. Want to try it? Give me a call back. Okay, I'll give you a call. I'll give you a call. Yeah. Um, what time do you normally off? Uh, I'm here all day, but I answer my phone, have myself on me. Okay, I'll give and you a call later this I'm afternoon. Out of four, so. Afternoon is later this afternoon yeah. is good? Yeah. Okay. All right, and your name again? Carlos. Carlos, all right. All right, Carlos. All right, we'll talk guys, so that was the whole conversation. 
um, at the end, I almost forced him to give me an answer. I, I told him, you know, are you ready to do this? Or, you know, are you ready to move forward? Or are you, is that what you want to do? I'm looking for a, a direct um, answer, whether yes or no. Sometimes it's a maybe. Uh, but the answer that he gave me was give me a call back. So I, I piqued all his interest. He started asking me questions, which is which is what I want. Um, and then ultimately, at towards the end, he said, give me a call back. So this is important too when someone tells you to give them a call back don't like it i want you guys to take the initiative to come up with a time and a date or a place whatever the case is depending in this case it's just over the phone so i told him i'm gonna give him a call back this afternoon that way you know i, I you know i give him some time to think he has plenty of time to think about it but also that i'm serious and that, that i'm looking for an answer i'm looking for a direct answer and if he doesn't give me an answer you know that's okay he might not pick up the phone i don't know uh but if he does i know i did the best that i could to try to convince this dude to try to get an atm into his uh bakery so i just wanted to share that stuff with you um that way you guys can learn take some nuggets out of this and start implementing it and trying it when you guys are talking to business owners um either way if you found this video uh helpful be sure to hit the thumbs up button be sure to subscribe if you're not a subscriber already check out some more content as well i really really appreciate all the love and support keep it up um i'll talk to you guys with another video stay up stay blessed and much love